Hello, this is Dr. Linda Davis, and today I want to work in GIMP, and I want to work on the tool that helps you fix red eye situations uh, within GIMP. And this usually happens at night when you're taking a, a photograph, and it, uh, the subjects in the photograph have red eye. A lot of times it'll be uh, children, just because of the way their retina is at that point in their life. Uh, so let's just open one that has that particular problem and fix it. So I'm going to pull one out from my student folders. I believe it was one folder back. Let me go back. Yeah, there it is. Now with this um, particular subject. The red eyes are very obvious because of it being a night photo. So very easy to fix uh, within GIMP. And so what we're going to do first is just go over to your toolbox, select your rectangular select tool, and you're only going to care about uh, outlining as close as you can, just, just the eye area. Doesn't have to be real precise, but just get both eyes in the box. And all you need to do is go up to filters and within filters you want to go down to enhance and one of your choices within enhance is red eye removal and that's all you really have to do and click on red eye removal you do get a little dialog box that lets you adjust the threshold on that as well and it looks pretty good like it is and usually 50 is good just say okay and as you can see that removes the red eye from the image and at that point you can um, just uh, select none to turn off those and if you're happy with that you can save that particular image and that's how you remove red eye from a subject thank you have a great day hello this is Dr. Linda Davis and today I'm working in GIMP and I want to um, take an image and just move something around on the image. Now I'm gonna start up GIMP of course, file open, find the image I want to work on. I'm gonna work on the uh, Walmart logo. Just got it from Google Images. There's lots of, if you search on company logos in Google Images you'll find lots of logos to use. So I'm gonna stretch this out just a little bit to see it better. And I have the little asterisk over here or the little sun however they mean for it to be but I want to take it and move it to the other side just for an example piece so um, let me start off with my rectangular select tool in the toolbox right there okay and then I'm going to just take the asterisk or the sun um, if I find myself a little close over here I'm just going to position my mouse and pull it over just a little bit more doesn't have to be perfect but close enough and then I want to go up to edit and cut which is control X and go back up to edit and select paste as new layer so not regular paste but paste as and then go down to new layer and it just plops it anywhere along in here it's up to you to move it to where you want it to be so go up to move the move tool in your toolbox select that and then you can grab and move it wherever you want it to do and for our purposes today I'm just moving it to the other side like that okay now uh, let's get some of these um, select boxes out of here so I go up to select and select none get rid of that one and the last step because I do have two layers going on now if you look over at your layers um, dialog box over here you've got what you had on the clipboard which was the little sun symbol and then you had the background so we're going to merge those visible layers and so to do that you have to go up to image and down to merge visible layers control M if you like to use shortcuts and you'll get a dialog box that comes up says merge layers yes you want to merge expanded as necessary is fine hit merge and that puts it all together now when you move things around like that sometimes you've got you know your excess spacing over here that you really don't have to have uh, if you want to take it one step further you can uh, crop it down to the size that you want in that case just again your select rectangular select tool um, maybe I'll start over here but just kind of crop it a little closer there Okay, 
and then I'll go up to image and down to crop to selection which just tightens it up a bit okay so there's actually two different things going on there we were moving items around and we were also cropping it down hope that helps you in your pursuit of GIMP skills